Today's video, we are gonna talk about Google Ads app campaign tracking using Firebase and why it's trash now. Okay, at least for tracking iOS conversions or people downloading your iOS app and then converting into an in-app action that you actually wanna track. Uh, that is revenue, um, you know, in-app purchases, any other in-app action for that matter, which by the way is the key to get app campaigns to work because at the, in the grand scheme of things, unless you're a, a funded startup, which you don't need to make money, you don't need to make a profit to make money or to run your company at this stage and you just, just need downloads, then you don't need in-app tracking. But for that matter, it's dumb to just get downloads anyway, because at some point, somebody's going to want to see you're making money. And if you actually just tracked their in-app revenue while you were paying for your downloads to, to up your download numbers, you would actually be in position to get when the next bit of money that you dump into it can be productive. You know, half the value out of when you run app campaigns on Google ads, Apple search ads, is just the value of the revenue data that you're pulling into your accounts because that's what's gonna actually get you the results in the future. When you start advertising, it's never gonna be profitable. It becomes profitable after you've acquired a certain amount of data. So, but with that said, like I mentioned, Firebase, which is obviously Google's own, uh, it's like Google Analytics for apps, allows you to track in-app actions, so on and so forth. But with Apple's new privacy updates, they aren't passing the same information outside of Apple devices as they used to. Uh, so to say. So if you want to track in-app purchases, it's going to be difficult to do that, at least using Firebase specifically. There's third-party apps you can use that will actually allow you to tr track purchases within the app itself, at least specifically when you're trying to track it inside your Google Ads account for Google Ads app campaigns. You're going to want to use a third-party app for this now, not using Firebase, and then having Firebase send your revenue data from your in-app actions back to your Google Ads account, because before it was Firebase did track all the in-app revenue and you could put that back in your Google Ads account and steer your ads that way. Not anymore, or at least only for Android devices, which is where it really works. And it, if you're talking about Apple devices, it undercounts a ton, uh, enough to where it's just, the data is pretty much gonna be mostly useless to you to build up a profitable Google Ads app campaign. So I'm gonna talk about the specifics of this on this video as well. So you understand just what I'm talking about here and reverberate what I just said. But before I do, if you do not know who I am, I am Corey Zyman, owner of Guaranteed PPC, an online advertising agency that specializes in guaranteeing results for their clients. That is, we do not charge our clients management fees until we get to a certain minimum lift in the profitability up front, basically in excess of the management fee itself. We are the only agency out there which offers any kind of similar guarantee, which should tell you something about the quality of the information that I'm sharing with you on today's video. So with that said, getting into it, um, for that matter, <clears throat> like I mentioned, when we're talking about advertising apps, the data is what really makes app campaigns work, particularly in-app revenue data to steer your ads so you get actually paying customers, unless you don't have a uh, revenue component. But even then, you're gonna wanna be able to track things like in-app opens, usage of the app. You know, try to basically optimize your campaigns for loyal users of the app, at the very least. Uh, Google Ads app campaign specifically, you used to be able to, and I've got videos about how it used to be. You could search on my channel homepage for these videos, but for that matter, you used to be able to hyper target people via the app store, people that are specifically looking at certain apps, like you can do with Apple search ads now, which is why it's better than Google app campaigns. And you, the tracking data wasn't as relevant because you knew, okay, well, if they want my competitor's app and they download my app, I'll probably get a decent user. Now, it's all run off of an algorithm pretty much. You input your basic details into your campaign and it uses all the revenue data to steer your ads with. Now, that said, Google ad app campaigns are still massively profitable. It's just not profitable right away. And unless you have a mountain of data for Google's algorithm to actually look at, because they'll actually look into having your ads show up for people that download your competitors' apps and so forth on their own, and using that revenue data, it'll actually drill it into the same thing as it always did, but you had manual control over before. So with that said, basically don't waste your time with Google Ads app campaigns unless you're gonna get that right revenue data into the account. And for that matter, you could actually just try to get Android users through the Google Play Store itself. And using Firebase, you'd have the same data pretty much as you always did. But with Apple devices, no, not so. 
So with that said, okay, the new path to success using Google app campaigns is to use third-party service to track in-app actions, whether you're talking about free to paid conversions or revenue or multi opens of the app, whatever you're doing. And when I say app campaigns, using branch.io to track iOS activity itself. You can continue using Firebase if you want, but my suggestion is just switch over to branch.io in general. So you have one place of get, gathering your data and then send that back into the Google ads platform using their API. Import your, your opens of the app data or your revenue data, whatever you can optimize for into Google ads. And then the app campaigns are gonna work again. Whereas right now, using Firebase alone, at least you're, unless you're going after Android users only, it's not gonna basically be profitable for you unless you're really selling something that has a high demand and super low competition. With branch.io, you're actually gonna get about five times as much in-app data for whatever you're tracking, purchases, uh, op multiple opens of the app, whatever, than with using Firebase for iOS devices. Just to let you know how much uh, Google is gonna undercount or undersee the activity from iOS devices. And basically this clearly after looking into it is evident because it happened because Apple's trying to beat Google at their uh, advertising, you know, their Apple search ads is directly competing against Google and their platform and they want that advertising revenue. Well, if Google's now set up their campaigns to mainly use revenue data, which they have, and Apple's saying over here, we want, people to stop using Google app campaigns because we want that advertising money. We'll just cut off all the data and then the campaigns won't work and then they'll come to us, which is a brilliant move. And that's exactly what they did. And then with that said, by the way, if you use branch.io, it actually has a bunch of other cool features. Uh, one of which is great for doing search campaign tracking as well. So I would recommend, by the way, so you do both. You do Google ads, app campaigns, and Apple search ad campaigns starting with Apple search ad campaigns because you're gonna get a better return sooner in the process because you have more manual control over where your ad shows up. And with that, you can target people that are downloading your competitor's app, which is what you want. But even with Apple search campaigns, it's mighty hard to get a return without the revenue data. So, and for that matter, in your niche, unless you're dealing with people that have major, major capital funding, they probably don't import their own in-app revenue or in-app activity into the Apple search ads campaign to steer the ads with because it's it's tricky. People are lazy, they're arrogant, they don't think they need to do it. And if you're the only one in your niche doing it, it's like you have night vision goggles going to war at night. You see what they can't see and you have a major advantage on your competition. So set up your Apple search campaigns first, target your competitors apps, people downloading them, people that, because ultimately it doesn't get any better than that. If you had a fitness app, I would wanna target people downloading a similar fitness app as mine with the same features before I target people typing in fitness apps. Mainly because people that type in fitness apps, we don't know what kind of fitness app they want. Maybe they want it's a girl that wants it. Maybe it's a guy. Well, the more relevant of a user you get, the better your return your investment's gonna be. Target the competitors first. Generally 98% of the time, that's the better deal. Then target the general searches like fitness app, whatever. Uh, money saving app, whatever it is that you're doing and feed in your revenue data from day one or free to paid conversions or at least uh, multi opens of the app. Like I mentioned, those are your, your main things. Ideally, by the way, what you would want to optimize for is uh, multi opens of the app. And once you get at least a hundred in app purchases, you switch over the campaign to optimize for that exclusively to get the campaign started as quickly as possible and make the most money in the long run. And you could do that with both platforms, by the way. So that's something to consider as you run your campaigns. Now, the old way of doing Google Ads app campaigns, of course, was you had your app downloads and for Android and iOS, you had Firebase to send those in-app actions back to your Google Ads account to power your Google Ads app campaigns. For that matter, by the way, um, Google app campaigns as well. The other thing is I would recommend Apple search ads. You're gonna get a much better return on a smaller budget right away. With Google ads app campaigns, it's Google's pretty much, unless you're a larger organization already, it's not even set up for a small advertiser anymore. They even say when you actually wanna optimize for in-app actions, they want you to have like 25,000 downloads of your app. So that tells you right there that they don't even want anybody with small, with 
small potatoes ad spend anymore because they took away all the controls one and they try to use the revenue data to do it and they admitted that you gotta have so many downloads before the revenue data even becomes relevant to them so unless you're already an app of that size i would recommend 100 percent only doing apple search ads until you are then bring in your uh, google app campaign last once you've gotten to that scale to bring in and, and you know i've seen people run both and it'll they'll both bring 50 percent of the revenue to their app it's just Apple search ads is quicker to get a return on it, or should I say a better ROI or ROAR ads on your ads been so much sooner. You'll get it much sooner with the Apple search ads than you'll get it with the Apple app campaign ads. Anyway, with that said, that's pretty much everything I was gonna say about this. Uh, if you have any desire to get a better return on your campaign, there's a lot of other tricks to pull on app campaign, certainly to make money with them. I got videos about app advertising on my channel homepage. You can search for them in the search bar. You should subscribe to the channel because I'm coming out with all uh, videos all the time on the topic. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed already, you should. Uh, all I do, I'm an ad manager who does nothing but ad strategy all day long at our firm, 40 hours a week, and I share what I find, what works, what doesn't work on this channel. It's the best information you're gonna find online about how to make money with ads. Furthermore, if you like the information that you have seen on this video, you can also check out my blog on my site at guaranteedppc.com slash blog. And of course, if you have any questions about anything I covered here, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a question or comment on this channel, usually within 24 hours time. Also, by the way, if you need somebody to help you set up your branch.io account, you need somebody to help you with your revenue tracking uh, itself, um, setting up your in-app uh, purchase uh, tracking actions, reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. We've set this up for other clients before. We can certainly help you out as well. We can also tell you how well, how to make your ads more efficient uh, ultimately. And we offer a guarantee with our services. That is, you know, again, like I said, stated earlier on the earlier part of this video, we do not charge our clients management fees until we can get them a certain minimum lift in their profitability up front uh, in excess, basically, of what we charge as a management fee. So um, you can reach out to me on my, at my site at guaranteedppc.com if you're interested in that. We also sell ad templates. If, you, if we've already sold an app like yours before, you can use the winning ad template that we have to sell it. In terms of landing pages, um, sometimes we, we create landing pages versus just standard app campaigns to promote apps. We've got those. Um, we've worked in over 100 different niche markets, so the chances are decent that we've already worked in your market and can sell you the ad campaigns, landing page templates, all of it that work for your market. You know, also offer coaching. Um, every single person who's been reaching out to me for coaching at and through the channel here has gotten coaching, was greatly thankful for the coaching that I provided, and they came back for more coaching or said that they're gonna come back for more coaching. Because in a 30 minute session, I could tell you how to unstop or uncork your results. If you're plateaued on your results at all, I can look at your entire funnel, website, your packaging, all of it, and let you know what the next best step is to get unstuck with your revenue. If you're interested in that, you can also reach out to me at my site. But with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up with that. Thank you very much for watching as usual, and I'll see you on the next one. Remember when I said Google app campaigns was important during this video? Well, this video here tells you how to do it.